Right. Adam Kiesel with KMA Sports here with Mason Hartley and Taylor Cole of Clarinda Tennis here, the winners of the girls 1A regional doubles teams here in Shenandoah. Um, first off, congratulations. Uh, you know, how does it feel to be able to kind of come out on top here today? Um, it feels pretty good. Last year didn't go at all as it was planned, so we came in with the mindset, a good one, and we finished how we should. Uh, we really preached just finishing today, and it's a huge relief to get through this today. We, that was just our goal from the season. Yeah, you mentioned uh, you came up a little bit short last year. Obviously, it feels good to try to get that box check this year. Uh, you know, the team that you were, placed, that you were facing today in the Red Oak team uh, is a team that you've seen a couple of times throughout the year. Obviously, you don't know at the start of the day who you'll see in the finals when you get there. Uh, but once you got your matchup, what were you kind of planning for? What were we kind of game planning for between this team? We wanted to take every match at every point, like slowly and as we could. We did counter eggs before the hatch and everything. So we played each game how we should, and that's how we finished. We didn't want to force any points. We knew this team, they were really good. Those run up they know how to play really well. And so we just wouldn't want to force. We want to play our game, so yeah. Yeah, you, you, know, you talked about how you were kind of just trying to play loose. I think you mentioned that You've mentioned that a couple of times in the season that you just want to play loose, not really try to just brush off last season. You get started here today. There are a couple of times, a couple of early shots, maybe some fatigue setting in from playing outside in this heat and everything where uh, the shots just came up short in the net. Uh, how are you able to kind of rebound from that and uh, with your chemistry there? Uh, chemistry is great. We came in, we had pressure, but we didn't play like we had pressure. We don't always play as good when we have when we think about all the pressure. So we came in. We weren't, we weren't seated, so yeah, that's how we, we should had to tell ourselves we were the underdogs today. So we just want to play every point for what it was worth and just play our game, make them play theirs. Definitely. As you guys, you know, as you continue, uh, how are you going to continue that uh, playing your own game, as you mentioned, as you continue your run here in the postseason? I think we're just going to take each point like we know we can and see what, where that gets yeah. to the state. We're newbies to state this year, so now we're coming <laughs> in the underdogs, so we're ready to fight for it. Awesome. Once again, Mason Hartley, Taylor Cole of Clarinda, the girls 1A regional champions here today. Congratulations to you too. And and good luck with the rest of your season. Thank here. you. I'm Kiesel, KMA Sports here with Tessa Rollins and Merced Ramirez. Uh, the Red Oak team took second here at the 1A regional doubles at uh, Shenandoah for today. Uh, first off, congratulations to you two. You're advancing. Uh, how does that feel? Uh, you know, even though you couldn't take the top seed overall, you're still alive and you're still going on in, in the postseason. Uh, it feels awesome. It does. Always been our goal ever since the beginning. And it's just awesome to make it again. Yeah, uh, you know, that's a team, the Clarinda team that you faced multiple times this year. Uh, definitely some really good competition. How do you think that competition that you've seen from them and throughout the tournament, uh, in the conference play, and in regionals today uh, is going to prepare you for the rest of the way that you guys are trying to go? I feel like it's just going to keep us going and keeping us alive throughout the meetings and practices in the state. Definitely made us stronger. It did. Yeah, you talk. I mean, you talk about competition on the court. You also have to play some some extreme heat today, some humidity, some wind. Um, how, did that really affect your game plan coming into today, or kind of your mental approach to how you're going to take on this tournament at all? Um, I think we both just knew that we wanted to get these points done quick and give us time to recover. And I think we did that really well. We were definitely prepared for the heat. Yeah. We knew it was right. uh, yeah, and then just again going forward. Um, you got some time before you prepare, but obviously it's still at the forefront of your minds. How are you going to kind of prepare for uh, the rest of the postseason kind of coming up here? <laughs> just keep our strategy the same. Just keep going as that at and work hard. All right. Once again, Tessa Rollins and Merced Ramirez, second team here at the 1A Girls Regional Doubles. Congratulations again, Thank and good you. luck to you both on the rest of your season. Thank you. Adam Kiesel, KMA Sports, here talking with Jessica Sun, winner of the girls 1A regional singles match here in Shenandoah today. First of all, Jessica, congratulations. Uh, second year in a row, how's it feeling going back, uh, going back to back? I am super excited to go to sit again and just grab that regional title. Yeah, so like I said, you know, it's second year in a row coming into the tournament today, into the season probably in general. Uh, were you feeling really any pressure at all to kind of repeat and maybe defense or that regional title that you had? Um, I felt that a little bit, but I just knew that I just needed to get out and play my game because that's what helps me win. Yeah, playing your game. I think you mentioned last week um, that you wanted to really play your best game in the Hawkeye 10 conference, um, or you thought you'd that you did play your best uh, game there in the conference and then you wanted to maybe repeat that. How would you grade your overall performance here today? 
Um, I think that I started off a little slow, but as the day went on and the wind picked up and stuff, people got tired and I just pushed through. So I ended up playing some pretty good tennis there at the end with Coral. Yeah, keeping that uh, mentality going through, pushing through some stuff. Uh, how are you going to look forward to the rest of the postseason and try to continue the success that you've found so far? Um, I think that it's just really important for me to just wipe my record. And I'm at 0-0 every time and just go in there and play my game and stay. Just again, uh, like I said, going back to last year again, how are you going to try to maybe continue to build at, as part of your game plan too from the success that you had last year to this year? Um, so I know what's at stake and I know that I can play with them and that gives me a lot of confidence to just keep working hard and try to get like stay in. All right, once again, Jessica Sun uh, from Shenandoah here, the girls 1A regional champion in the singles. Congratulations, Jessica, and good luck with the rest of your season. Thank you so much. I'm Kiesel KMA Sports here talking with Coral Matheny, the girls runner up in the 1A regional singles tennis match here in Shenandoah. First off, uh, Coral, congratulations uh, on keeping your game alive, keep moving on in the postseason. Uh, what's it feel like knowing that you're still alive and still at play here? It's honestly really exciting. Um, senior year, I just wanted to be the best I could, and obviously, I did. it's a little difficult going against Jessica, so um, just the outcome ended up great. Yeah, you said you know you faced tough competition, obviously, and through Jessica here today in the in the finals match and throughout the tournament. Um, how do you think that's maybe going to kind of prepare you uh, for going up into Iowa City here? I think it's going to prepare me really well just because ranked, I think, number one in the state. So that's awesome. I played her three times, so it's awesome that I get a chance to keep playing against her. Yeah, you know, it's your, you said it's your senior year here going up into Iowa City. Um, What's it been like improving from maybe when you first started out freshman year to now and then uh, just kind of building on the momentum that you've had each season to get to this point? Yeah, it's really exciting. Um, last year I was champion in Hawkeye 10 doubles, um, number two. And so this year I decided that I wanted to do singles and just the outcome again has been pretty well. Yeah, uh, what ultimately made you, you just mentioned, what kind of made the decision for you that you decided that you wanted to try to go uh, into singles as opposed to doubles this year? It was a very hard decision. Um, a lot, obviously, doubles is stacked this year. So I figured that I'd have a better chance at going in singles. Yeah, and you know, going into today, obviously, like I said, tough tournament. Playing in the heat, humidity, a lot of games here today. Um, but what were maybe some of the key positives that you saw in your game today that you uh, are maybe going to try to build on as you go up uh, to Iowa City? Yeah, so um, I worked on my serve a lot, and I'm learning how to like slice, if that makes sense. Um, I never really knew how to do that, so I was kind of just a defensive player, so I'm learning how to be offensive. So. All right, once again, talking with Coral Matheny, the girls runner up here at the 1A Regional Tennis Match in Shenandoah. Congratulations on today, Coral, and good luck with the, uh, with the rest of your season here. Thank you.